heavyweight collision between Junior Dos Santos and Clover Teixeira. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep. All right. level striker is and this guy is as high level Whoa! he's in trouble he's getting lit up big ball punch land now he gets back to range oh just missed on the overhand right The Octagon, not a great place to be, man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Just missing on the uppercut there. Teixeira's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh! Just over three minutes now to go. Strong defense there to block the shot. So just over 20 total strikes. And now, all right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Beautiful body. Right on the and both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Single collar tie here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, big shot land. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to rest. In there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. Someone's done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what. that will finish the fight. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. 
All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's, oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Look, he's there again. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's him. To share his lower jaw, looking extremely swollen now. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clinch. It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown. So five minutes in the books. We'll see how it goes here in round two. Junior Dos Santos. And also... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that big Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 14 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Chicago Santos! Well, we congratulate him on it.